Python can type anything for you anywhere you wanted to at whatever speed you want. Yeah, I'm not typing that. Python's doing it for me in a script and it won't stop until I hit the escape button. Maybe I just want to automate a few Google searches at once and make it look realistic while I'm away from my desk. Or maybe I just want to automate keeping my status on Microsoft Teams as active while I'm in a meeting. Or maybe you just want to scare your friends a little bit. Whatever your idea, it's probably possible in Python. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, there's a couple of things that we can do. I'm going to start with Microsoft Teams here. So you can see where we type a message here. I'm going to loop through a few statements and have it type it in there automatically. All right, let's go ahead and open Python. And what we got to do first is we got to import some modules. So if you've never used Python before, just do exactly what I'm doing here and you should be totally fine. So I'll show you how to import these modules on the right side there. Pretty much you just type in CMD in the search box in the bottom. Yeah, if you're in Windows and you open the command prompt and you just type in a few things with pip. All right, let's go ahead and make five realistic statements. Something you might send to somebody, a colleague or something, and you're working on something, you just kind of want to get them off your back. Or if someone's taking screenshots of you, say your boss or something, and you know you want to look like you're typing messages, you could do that too. Either way, we're going to start by having you type out these messages, erase them, and then go on to the next one. And we're going to do this in random order. So I'm going to finish up these statements here. We could do whatever we want here, but essentially we're making a function to type the statement. So our statement's above there. So what's going to happen is it's going to type it out and then it's going to delay a little bit. It's going to hit control and A to highlight everything. And then it's going to hit backspace to delete it. And it's going to do it all over again with the next statement. And it's going to do it in random order. Once it goes through all five of these, the program's going to end. Uh, however, you can have it loop forever until you hit like a escape button or something. There's lots of things you can do. That's just what I'm doing in this first part here though. All right, now that that part's done, let's move on to the next. All right, so you can see this while statements part here. And what we're doing here is we're randomly selecting a statement, then we're removing it, and then we're gonna have a five second delay for the next statement. And when the script is all done, or program, however you want to say it, I say both, it's just going to print and say all statements displayed in Teams. All right, let's finish up this section. You can have to say whatever you want. You don't even need a statement at the end if you don't want to. I just like having something. Okay, when we're ready, let's go ahead and save this. So go to Run Module. It's going to make you save. Hit OK. Save it wherever you want to. And if you want to import some statements, you can do that too, or a whole document and you can split each sentence. There's lots of ways you can do this. Oh, can you spot the error? Essentially what I forgot to do was have it consistent in my first statement. You can see a single quote at the end of that is a double quote and that's the problem right there. So you gotta be consistent. With how our code is set up now, if you're not quick enough, it's gonna type it in that box right there, as you saw. So we don't want that. What we can do is we can create another delay from the time you run it until it actually outputs the text. That's what I usually do. Give yourself like five seconds. You could do five to 10, whatever you wanna do. Or if you wanna be fancy, you could have a button that you hit that will enact the script to start typing out the text. All right, what the heck, let's just do seven seconds. That's a good halfway point there. So this is what it should look like if everything goes according to plan and you make everything work. You can see there, and I'm going to speed the rest of these up. I just want to demonstrate really quickly. It's putting out the messages, it's erasing them, it's going to the next one, it's doing it in random order. All right, let's make a couple changes here. Let's actually enter the messages. Let's send them. Let's get rid of our control and A highlight there, and we're going to get rid of this time sleep one second there. And let's change backspace to enter. So when the message is inputted, we enter it and we send it. All right, let's go ahead and run this. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put my cursor where it's supposed to go. Okay, that's one down. Just to be quick, I'm gonna make sure that you don't have to wait three seconds between each message. That's three. Try this with other messaging apps too, like Slack. 
That's four. And by the way, if you look in the video description, I'll have code examples for you. And that's five. So this is a general way of getting Python to type whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want it. There are so many different ways you can do this. You can make it go on forever. You could do this in the Word like I showed you in the intro. You just got to use your imagination, honestly. But if you have questions how to do things, just let me know in the comments. Happy to help you. In the meantime, hope you enjoy the video and take care, everyone.